Welcome back to Inside Hi-Fi. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Pass Labs XS preamp. Yes, the big preamp from Pass Labs in their XS series also. I already opened up the lids due to the fact that these are very fine, very expensive pieces that um, you know you have to be very gentle with and I don't want to be trying to fumble one-handed. But anyway, it is two chassis. And uh, first chassis or the chassis that will have um, the controls on it is going to be this chassis right here, followed by what I'm calling the power supply chassis, uh, which is the second chassis right over here. I'm going to walk around to the back side. As you see, they're exactly identical in size. There are the lids. There are the screws that hold it together. And if you look over here, excuse the lighting a little bit, backlit a little bit, but uh, if you look here, that's where the umbilicals go for the power supply. And there are all your inputs and outputs. Moving over to the power supply, you can see the IEC, standard IEC connection, 15 amp followed by the two turn lock power supply umbilical connections that find their way over to these over here. As you can see, this is ex completely independent. Um, if you look in the power supply right over here, the only thing they really share is, if you were to look right over here, they are going to share the um, fuse and the IEC connection. After that, they are actually two separate boards, completely separate, mirror image. Um, and actually they're not mirror image if you look at it. They're exactly the same board. So they're not spread apart where you may have a mirror image like this or a book match on the board what it is is the exact same board followed out um, they go to the right over here you can see they go to where the turn lock umbilicals output a um, little bit of a note here I noticed a uh, plytron on the transformers which may interest a lot of you um, see if I can get any ratings on these caps for you you can go ahead and pause the video if you want to read that better than I can get it um, if you look in here you will also see that these capacitors are labeled past labs excuse the focusing issue here today I don't know what that's go about I'm going to back out a little more. I don't know. I'm having a little issue with the focusing today. And Now, if you move over to the other chassis here, you're also going to notice that it is two boards that are stacked on top of each other but are completely independent. And you can notice that if you look from the rear, you have two channels that are completely independent that are exactly the same. Once again, not mirror image, but exactly the same. Uh, power supplies not, are not shared. Nothing is shared here. These are two independent as if they could actually be in two separate chassis. Um, capacitors, once again, you can get some ratings off of that. Get some off of that right over there. Now what's interesting is once again, just like all of Pass Labs um, equipment, you will see signatures as it's being built. Whoever finishes that particular job or does an inspection will sign. Once again, as all preamps in for Pass Labs, it is a Wayne Colburn design preamp. If you look at the machine work inside, it's absolutely beautiful across um, the attention to detail on even the way the wire is done over here 
Let's see if I can get this a little better. There we go. So, see the attention to detail all the way across. interested in what the display board looks like I'll work my way around here and there you go there's a signature again you can see the display control and board then the volume pot or should I say just the control for the rest of the circuit for volume just amazing attention to detail all the way across here we're going back to the power supply side you're going to see over here signatures again Wayne C for Wayne Colburn signatures across over here absolutely amazing once again I'd like to thank Mick at Quintessence Audio for allowing me the opportunity to make these videos for you so you have an opportunity to look inside gear that you would not normally be able to look into. Um, if you like my videos, please like the video, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Comment below if there's anything you'd like to see or if you'd like me to do any other type of gear or if I have the possibility can get my hands on a particular piece of gear that you ask for, I'm glad to make a video of the inside of it also. Once again, thanks for watching my videos and hope to see you soon.